We or, showed up in, uh, don't quote me exactly, uh, I think we showed up in August and we deployed in March. So, yeah, a little bit, a couple of months. Um, we got to hit the major blocks. We got CQB, land warfare. Um, missed all the pro dev, so didn't, wasn't one of the guys went to sniper school or any of that as new guys, so no new guy schools at all. They gave us um, hazmat demo driver, which I couldn't do because I didn't have a driver's license. Um, you had to be 25, so I couldn't do that. I couldn't get a rental car. Um, yeah, it was basically just the, <laughs> it was like the lowest life form on earth. <laughs> but yeah. we had uh, we had nine new guys and nine old guys. So it was good, man. The, the mesh was good. The learning curve was high. Um, the standard in that platoon was extremely high. But it should have been. I'm glad it was now. I didn't understand the time. I thought they were being dicks just to be dicks. Yeah. Um, but if I could have done it all over again, I wish I would have paid attention more. A lot of that, uh, a lot of that resistance came um, from feeling like I was already part of it because I'd been born into it. Um, so it was hard for me to let go of. Hmm. You know, a little bit of arrogance, I'm sure. Um, the fact that I knew everybody. Like, I already know them. Like, the CMC was my dad's best friend. I've known him my entire life. Damn. So it's it's weird to see him in the hallway, like, hey, Master Chief. And see him on the weekend, you're like, hey, Master Chief. <laughs> you know what I mean? What so, was your dad thinking? Did, what was his reaction that you were going to war right off the bat, 19? I mean, he was happy for me. Was he? Yeah. He's pretty stoked about it. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, um, You could tell he was nervous. You could tell my mom was really nervous. Um, I mean, Iraq in 2004 or five, being shot never entered my mind. Like, yeah. Navy SEALs hadn't been shot. That's not a thing. Like, we're good. It happened sporadically. Nobody's died yet, not in Iraq. It was the IDs we were worried about. It was like, they were hitting them all day, every day. So when we got there, I mean, that was pretty surreal, like flying in, you know, take off 19 years old and you know, you're on a C-17, getting ready to land, and people start, you know, two hours out, they're breaking the no bands, body armor, helmet, nods, loading guns. I've never deployed before. Apparently, this is completely normal. Like, we landed like we were going to be under fire the entire time. Like, you had no idea. And when, I mean, now that you've deployed, you open it up, and there's a guy with a flatbed pulling off ISU 90s like I thought we would be shot down. Like, the way they were flying in, it was crazy. Um, everybody's getting sick. <laughs> Just um, it was early in the war. It was a different environment. No one had any um, any real combat experience. Yeah. Even the older guys in the platoon had been to Afghanistan, but it was more of um, the presence patrols. 